Are you comfy, huh? Are you comfortable? Say good morning. Happy Wednesday. Yeah. She's chilling on her little blanket. She's comfortable. She just came in here a few minutes ago. Now she's like, ah. Oh. I just got showered and ready to go to the Y here in a little bit. Just sitting here, chilling. There's one of my shelves. With all my little pretties on it. One day we have to redo stuff, but nah, it just didn't happen yet. I only have some decent days. Dad and I got to work in the kitchen. That is our next project. First, we got to get in the garage, clean off the one table so we have room to take stuff out on. Yeah, we have some mild days, but we got some, this week's gonna be a little warmer and humid, so. But when mild comes, 70s, we'll be out there. Dang it. Kitty, what are you doing? She's looking at me like, why are you talking to the, the, the little box in your hand? Eh, she don't care. She just don't care. All right. Back from getting my hairs cut off. I had you in my purse today so I didn't film anything because I went to yoga. I stuck you in my purse with my keys and all that and put you on the little shelf. And then uh, I just grabbed my purse and went to get my hair cut and did everything just stayed in my purse. Even when we went out for lunch. Sorry, but see, it's all gone. All gone. And she did my brows right off. So I feel mucho better. Now I'm getting ready to put a deposit into my QuickBooks. I got a whole bunch of work orders while I was gone today. Well, the bottom few are weekend stuff, and then the top, like seven or eight, were new ones that went out. And then tomorrow I have a meeting up at the shop about work stuff. I got a whole gaggle of stuff I got to take with me. And um, we went out for wings today. Wing Wednesday at Jay's. 35 cent wings for dining in every Wednesday. And uh, we haven't gone in quite about a month or so. So I would try to go once every month or two. She knows. Lemonade. Coke with lemon. Yes. Yes. See a text coming through. Rambo blueberries are going to be done with their toilet after Friday. Let me make a note. Pen. Rambo. Done. Friday. Eight. Three. Yep. This is today's first August. First people. August. How did that happen? Um. We turned the air on finally. It's starting to get warm and humid. So, um, but for like a good three or four days, we were able to have the house open, air flowing through. It was beautiful. Beautiful. Um, so, no plans for the rest of the day other than doing some work stuff. Um, maybe watch some Netflix later. Maybe. But yoga was so fun today because she keeps the room, it's like dimly lit and she puts on this really nice music and she has this candle in the middle of the room and it's very peaceful. And uh, there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or nine of us there. And um, I had to ditch out like just a couple minutes before she was done. I'm like, I gotta go. And, um, but it, it, does, it did stretch out. It, did a lot of arm work and stretching and breathing and I enjoyed it. I really did. Um, a few weeks ago when my shoulder was out, I would not have enjoyed it. But today it was nice. I might go do it again some Wednesday. Uh, one of the ladies from the pool, Rhonda, was there. She saw me across the way. She's like, because hey. <laughs> I'm only ever used to seeing her in the pool. Um, so. I'll definitely do that again on a Wednesday. And I was so happy to get my hair done today. Other than that. Oh, I keep forgetting about these and I just looked over and saw them. These cards came ages ago and I'm so sorry. 
Um, Rosa sent these. She's from California, and she sent a really nice note. She sent this back when my shoulder was hurting. And thank you so much, Rosa. Look at the little face. And then she sent Dad a card, a sympathy card for when Lois got um, killed, died in the fire. And he told me to tell you thank you very much. I am so sorry. I've had him sitting here, but I've had so much crap on my desk, so much work that I'm like, I'm like, oh, there they are. Thank you so much, Rosa, and thank you for the beautiful note. She's so very sweet. Um, my friend Nikki every day sends me paragraph stuff about what she's researching. She talked to a couple today. She talked to her cousin, Ralph. We always say cousin Ralph. Um, that she met. She's still, she's got so many branches and things and trying to get it all. It's, and she talked to her dad. Um, and he told her what the stories we heard years ago. Here's how it went. See, her mom and dad had had two children previously, and they both died as infants. One was born dead, and one lived very briefly. So Nikki has a brother and sister that are buried in the cemetery. And after the second child um, did not make it, they were talking to their doctor, their gynecologist, about trying again. And he's like, next time it might kill you also. But I know somebody who wants to give their baby up for adoption, who is terminally sick, who might not even be alive for another year. That's what, that's, that's the story we hear. But then Graham, Nikki's grandma years ago, had told Nikki she just thought it was a girl who got pregnant young and wanted to get rid of it. So, there are stories, but her dad's gonna dig up all of her paperwork because her mom and dad were listed as her parents from the hospital. Um, so, but maybe there's a nugget in there that it's been overlooked. Uh, so she's gonna, he's gonna dig up all the papers for her to look through so she can make copies of for herself, for her files. So, it's fun listening, seeing all of her information she's finding of different things. And I really do wanna get her a 23andMe so she can do that DNA test and see if there's any matches on that. Because like I said, 23andMe and Ancestry to DNA are probably the two most well-known, popular ones that are advertised all the time. And so, maybe she'd have some matches on, the, on 23andMe. So, sometimes they run specials and things. That's how I got our kits. They had a special last fall. And um, so I ended up getting two. And she, she'll just, so it's, it's fun. It's a fun, it'll be interesting if she can find some, because if her mom was terminally ill and she did pass away at a younger age, or I don't even know if her, da, if her dad knew how old the person was who had, not, who had her. Um, so she could potentially not even be around or could that could have been a falsehood and then I don't know it's a whole mystery that's slowly trying to get pieced together dancing hands dancing hands okay I did not vlog a whole lot today that's why you're here to listen to me yet doing the head wobble let's take a b12 I need to call in my prescription for my thyroid medicine tomorrow. I have like a week and a half left, so I'm okay, but it goes on at a tongue. This is sublingual. I take a thousand micrograms? MCG, I think it's micrograms. I stick it right under the tongue. This is berry flavored. Yes, yeah, berry flavored. Night. Nope, another couple hours before I take my other pill. This is my birth control pack. These are nice because they're tiny. So if I don't have any water here, I can just, uh, you know, work up the old spittle. And just swallow it down. I'm on my last week of medicine, so next week I go on placebo week, which means towards the end of that, I will be a grump. And not want to do anything 
and lay there and watch Netflix on my towel. That's what happens. Okay. I hope you're all having a good Wednesday. I'm gonna do some work. I've been making notes of things I gotta talk about tomorrow at the office. I asked my cousin, I'm like, you're gonna be there tomorrow morning, right? Please be there. He's like, yeah, I should be, unless they get me out running. So I'm hoping since it's morning, it's gonna be about nine. So I'll probably leave here about 8.30. We'll see what happens. But bye.